there. Welcome back to MTAR Guide. Um, I quickly wanted to put a video out just to give some of the basic information about how I'm navigating the new worker website and some of the tools that I've found that are updated and working, um, even though the Amazon website continues to change. Um, so Panda Crazy is what I want to quickly go over today to help people get that up and running if you prefer Panda Crazy. Um, so real quick, the new worker website went into effect the 15th. Um, some scripts will work because the author or the owner has made the necessary changes. Other scripts will not work. Um, it's possible and not only is it possible, it has been happening. Amazon is continuing to tweak the new worker website, which is, is resulting in script issues. Um, so what I would re recommend is you disable all scripts in Tamper Monkey and um, turn them on one by one as you're using them so that you can see if they work or not. Um, as a last uh, as a last note, I would make sure you are exporting your data often uh, so that if you do need to reinstall something, you'll have the data, all your um, pandas and everything all set up to go back into Panda Crazy. Um, so if there's an option to export data in any of your tools, you know, definitely do that. And I'll put videos up if people need to learn how to do that. Um, but that's very important to save yourself from doing more work. Quickly, this is the new website. People are calling it the new worker website because uh, you navigate to worker.mturk.com. This is the default page. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it, but we all have to use it. So as far as things that we don't have to use, but you might want to use to make life a little easier, you have Panda Crazy. Um, so if you want to use Panda Crazy, you need three scripts loaded, enabled, and running. Panda Crazy, Panda Crazy Helper, and Panda Crazy Q Helper. The last one, Q Helper, I honestly think that um, you don't absolutely need it, but I would recommend it, it given where we are right now uh, with, with the changes that are going on. So the process to download the scripts and use Tampa Monkey is the same. Nothing's changed there. You want to make sure that your scripts are loaded, updated, and enabled in order to use them. Panda Crazy itself will not look very different, except it will say new site at the top. Um, and I screenshotted that for you. And as always, and this is another quick note or tip if you're not doing this, Panda Crazy should be housed alone in a separate window, not a tab. So if you've got Chrome or Firefox, whatever, you should have a whole separate window with just Panda Crazy in it alone. And you can run that in the background, but don't have it on a, a window with multiple tabs because that impedes Panda Crazy's ability to, to be searching and p hitting the database and all of that. So make sure it's in a separate window. Okay. Here's what Panda Crazy looks like. And at the top, you'll notice the new URL to get there. So you've got to have all your stuff, your scripts uh, uploaded and enabled. And then you go to this worker.mtark.com backslash customer filter search term, all this. And uh, then it brings up what you're used to seeing Panda Crazy, except it will say new site at the top. So that's not changed that much. Okay, so now the important part, adding to Panda Crazy, right? Why do I have Panda Crazy if you can't add to it? So from the main page, the default page, if you uh, click, click, click plus on the left hand side or where it says show details. If you click either one of those, um, you, you're going to get the uh, details for either one hit or all the hits on that page. And you'll see where I have the, the red box. You'll get the panda and once buttons that you're accustomed to seeing as part of the old site that are added by the scripts that we just downloaded. Um, and you can go ahead and, and work from there just as you normally would because it'll add it right back in um, to your panda crazy and run it. Um, you can also hit the preview link from the main page, which gets you into the hit and you haven't accepted it yet, but you're previewing it and taking a peek at it. And you'll also see up in the left hand corner, the Panda or once options. Um, so for the most part that that works as it previously did, it just looks a little bit different, which is a little disconcerting for some folks. And I understand that. Um, so in the case where you only have a link address where somebody sends you a link, says, oh, you got to check out this hit. It's great whatever. Um, the link needs to look something like this, um, this worker.mturk.com projects. I think a lot of people might try to do the mturk.com if you get the worker because it's not familiar enough yet, but that's what it needs to look like. And what you would do is you would uh, um, click add job in Panda Crazy 
and then it brings up the new this new uh, box it says add a new panda you can go ahead and paste your link in there and then hit the red or click on the red box it says add panda for group ID hit and then it will automatically populate to your panda crazy uh, boxes there in the background so even if you only have a link you're working off of um, as long as it's in the right format you'll be okay so hopefully Everybody can can get there from here, if you will. Um, the Panda Crazy Q Helper script, um, I recommend it because it helps you with two things. First, it helps with the default Q ordering, which was an issue in the old website. Um, but I think so many of the script writers embedded tools to help with that um, issue that people didn't realize it, but it's still there in the new website. So basically what it does is it gives you the hit that's expiring next to work on automatically when you're working out of your queue, which just makes sense, but um, it's not not the way it works kind of out of the gate so you want that and then it also allows you to access your queue from certain screens where you can't without the script so for example if you're um, in working on a hit and you say oh geez I, I meant to open up another hit I, I hit the wrong one completely or I clicked on the wrong one completely um, there's no way to get out you're gonna go all the way back to the main page and then go back into your hits queue so what this allows you to do is just cut down on a click, which as many of us know in a day of full of clicks, cutting down on them is, is uh, pretty pretty good. So what it will do is it'll put that link that you see where I have the red box, it says your hits queue, that link will be up there and allow you to go navigate right back to your queue. Um, that alone I think is worth having the script enabled for, but the the um, the time, I'm sorry, the queue order is very important too, especially because you're most likely used to it from the old site. I think it would be, you would kind of screw people up if their hits were coming up in different order than they're accustomed to. Um, one note though on, on this script in Panda Crazy, um, if you have Panda Crazy running and all of a sudden hits start coming in, say from a batch that you were watching and they're loading up into your queue, if you want to pause Panda Crazy and start working you know, from the main site, not work out of your queue, say you want to just go and open up two windows and kind of toggle through those windows, which a lot of people do with like picks from above, for example, where they're running a little slow and people toggle through tabs to, to not sit and have to wait. Um, so uh, what will happen is, is if you have anything in your queue, when you pause it, what happens is, is the new site goes back, the script is going back and it's pinging your queue and Panda Crazy to see exactly um, what you have in there. And what it does is it starts feeding back to you what's in your queue. So instead, even if you have the auto hit accept next or whatever auto accept next hit checked it just goes right back to your queue and it pulls out ones from your queue which is fine if you're either completely working out of your queue and allowing you know panda crazy to dump new hits in your queue or it's also fine um if you um if, yeah i mean that's the main way is it, it's fine i mean most people are going to you know, it's it's not okay if you're going to go to the main page and start working on different ones and expect the ones in your uh, queue to expire. Because what also happens is, is when it does expire, it continues to bring you back to those expired ones. And it says something like, oops, there's nothing here, um, which is kind of a glitchy deal in general. The new website is instead of a, instead of, um, instead of the hits kind of disappearing, uh, when they're when they've expired, they sit there, but they give you no indication they expired or ex expired except a small little red notation in the upper right hand corner, not even in the the hit window for the most part. So, so my advice to you is if you're going to pause Panda Crazy uh, for any reason and you want to continue working on the worker website, make sure that your queue is clear. I think that's the easiest way to deal with it if you're going to be using. Um, using panda crazy and, and pausing it in that in in any way just make sure your queue is empty and then go back to the worker website and be working through your hits because otherwise you're going to continue to go back to your queue if you don't mean to be doing that it's going to be frustrating and i encountered that earlier today with the batch that i was using so i realized that might not have been clear and i may need to put a live uh, video together showing that issue but I'll, I'll have to load up my queue and, and and put it together but hopefully if somebody is if the bottom line if it's glitchy and you're wondering why you can't just continue to accept next accept next accept next when you've got the um you've got it clicked or something and think about whether your panda crazy is running and whether you have it paused in the background and whether there's anything in your queue just a thought um so 
that's the basics of Panda Crazy. This is intentionally short to get you out there and get you going if you want to use Panda Crazy. I have more videos being made. I have to put my voice to, to many of them. Um, I'm doing it all by myself, obviously. Um, and so uh, there's not a lot of time in the day to, to get myself, um, get my voice onto all these. So I'm trying to prioritize them. And uh, so if you have requests um, that you'd like to see first, please let me know so I can prioritize the, the videos um, and getting them recorded and out to you. So I did Panda Crazy today because I think a lot of people do use Panda Crazy if I recall correctly. Um, I also want to get uh, MTurk Suite done, um, some general navigation tips, some quick tips, um, some of the issues that we're noting, although those do tend to work very work through very quickly and either you know go away or a new issue replaces, replaces it, um, as well as sending feedback to Amazon, which we all should be doing so that they know um, what's going wrong uh, on our side. So that's all I got for this particular video. As I said, please subscribe and please comment and let me know how I can help you get acclimated into the new site. As always, I really appreciate you guys uh, listening and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much.